So Matilda's got a trombone, fantastic instrument. Now, Matilda, let's put the trombone down on the ground and learn how to take it out of the case. Now, the best thing, Matilda, is actually to lay the case down on its side. Would you do that for me, please? Good girl. Now, can you undo the clasp so we can open up the lid on it? Good girl. Excellent. Now we'll lift the lid up. Wow, fantastic. Now, beautiful looking instrument. Now, we can see there's three sections. We have one, the bell section. Could you pick that up and show it to them? Good girl. That's what we call the bell. And then we have the slide section down here. Matilda, can you pick the slide section up? Thank you. Good. This is the slide section. Now, when you look at the slide section, you can see one piece is a little longer. That's the piece that then slots in here and screw it in. Tighten it here. Now, we're forgetting something. Oh, the mouthpiece. Matilda, could you please get me your mouthpiece? And that obviously fits in this hole here. And we do a quarter turn so that we have a good seal with the mouthpiece too. Now, so trombone is quite a flexible instrument and you can adapt it to your side. Now, we don't want it flat like this. You need to have the bell at an angle of, it's got to be less than 90 degrees, the smaller the hand, so that this hand, which you put into a position like this, the thumb up, you clasp the thumb around these and the two fingers there, but you want then, this slide is then moved with the right hand. Now we don't have it in a punching motion, it's two fingers and the thumb again, because then you can get that much more extension to go out to the sixth and seventh position. But we don't want the bell so close that it's touching the slide because then the slide can't move. And the trombone is a very special instrument. This section here is a weight, and it's weighted so that if you hold it parallel, it stays balanced. If you tilt it like this, it becomes very, very heavy and eventually it points down. So if you use gravity and the way the instrument's designed and keep it flat like this, it's much, much, much more efficient and easier to, to use. Not like this, it gets too heavy and your arm will get tired. So always up with the bell facing directly out, just like that. Matilda, could you show everybody in internet world land how to do that? Good girl. And now what about this right hand on the slide? Two fingers and a thumb. Good girl. And holding the trombone up. Is that comfortable? Now that's a little bit wide for Matilda, so we'll just adjust that in a bit. Right, so.